So, someone had to bite the bullet, and I guess that person was me. Um, yeah, I did 25 laps of the Goliath race. I know it's not the full 50, but I'm really not going to do that. That's like going to take nine hours of my life away, uh, and I really cannot do that um, yet. Anyway, I thought I wouldn't be able to make it through this, but I did. Um, as you can see, I did 25 laps of the Goliath race. You can find the blueprint as well if you haven't already unlocked the race. Uh, I have done a video a couple of days ago if you want a guide on to how to unlock the Goliath race. In essence, you need to reach level 20 of the road racing series. Um, now, as you can see, I set it to just Alfa Romeos and I'll show you why in a minute um, but first I want to tell you that I went in at level 172 before I started the race uh, I had no wheel spins so zero wheel spins as you can see there's no numbers above the horizon live tab there um, and with 9.8 mil uh, I only want to say that so you can obviously see my results and how much I earned uh, the car I used was the Alfa Romeo 8C Forza Edition I've uh, tuned it up to X class the tune and the design can be found on my storefront again I will leave the links in the description uh, on how you can find it obviously it's better to use a Forza Edition car either a credits boost one or an influence boost one uh, there's a quite a lot out there that I'd recommend um, you know the BMW M5 I believe that gives you a credits boost Forza Edition one the Alfa Romeo Giulia Forza Edition that will also give you an influence boost uh, but I went for the 8C uh, because it's probably one of the better ones I've got obviously tuned to X class the faster the better it means you're going to get the race over quicker now as for the Goliath race if you guys haven't done it yet uh, it took me on average between 8 minutes and 39 seconds and 8 minutes and 50 seconds to do each lap uh, overall it took me 3 hours and 45 minutes to complete 25 laps of the Goliath um, now obviously you might think it's a bit sad and it probably is in a lot of people's eyes um, but at the end of the day it was worth it to see the results you know I had some spare time on my hands um, and I definitely think it was worth it to see how much I came out with uh, you know it will also help you guys decide if you can be asked or you just don't want to do it um, there are loads of other races out there in which you can earn uh, a decent amount of credits and influence uh, that won't take you very long at all and I will be releasing videos on them to help you guys out um, but like I said you know someone had to bite the bullet um, and I guess it was just me in some respects but I'm glad I did it was worth it you know I leveled up about 44 times like I said I went into it at level 172 and I came out uh, after leveling up past 200 I don't know if you guys know but in Horizon 4 you sort of hit a prestige system like in Call of Duty so at level 200 you prestige up to the next level so first prestige uh, and I made it to level 14 of the first prestige if you want I don't know what they're calling it uh, but they just put a little one and a star above it next to your number so we're gonna call it the prestige system for now um, so yeah that's what happens when you hit level 200 you'll obviously see at the end of this it's like get the achievement for it as well um, like I said it was worth it in my eyes you know it was a lot of time spent and there are other races and other ways to get money um, but I definitely do think it was worth it I made an absolute ton of money obviously not just from the race uh, as you'll see in a second here uh, you'll see the final time and the best lap time there um, but obviously the race itself gave me about two point something million but then I earned a shit ton of wheel spins, about 65 of them, which gave me a lot of money uh, and a lot of cars from that. So you are 2.7 million from the race itself, an extra almost 200 grand from using the Forza Edition car. 717,000 influence points, which as you can see there, took me from level 172 to level 14 of the first prestige in Forza Horizon 4, uh, which is absolutely mental. It's really, really cool to be honest. Um, and I am glad, like I said, I'm glad I did it. Uh, it gave me a lot and you'll see here a super wheel spin I got where I got I think it's a Ford GT an old rare one and a couple other cars I mean the value of that number two Ford GT is worth a few million itself so obviously that's in addition to the race if I choose to sell that uh, and out of the 65 wheel spins I made a ton of money off that uh, and I will obviously upload that video shortly uh, in the next couple of days and show you how much money and cars I made from that so all in all this race was definitely worth it um, you know it gives you a lot of rewards and I'll show you again here the amount of wheel spins I made uh, and as well the amount of skill points I must have made about 170 skill points because I ended up with about 258 and I only went in with less than 100 to be honest um, so yeah definitely definitely worth it um, would I recommend it to you guys yes I would if you have the time and the patience to do it and like I said definitely use a Forza Edition car as you will reap the best results from it uh, but again a massive thank you for everyone's support uh, this channel has been picking up a bit and I want to thank you guys so so much it means a lot to me if you have any queries or anything you're struggling with please do say in the comments and I will help you out to the best of my ability but a massive thank you for your support 
and all the best guys